How you doing people? Okay, today is short and sweet. It's a press-ups, push-ups attempt, and I'm gonna go for 100 press-ups in two minutes. Now, I know there's an easy way and a hard way to do this, or should I say easier way. The easier way is to do them 10 at a time, short little rest, another 10. That way the lactic doesn't build up quite as quickly. But today I'm gonna to try and do it the hard way. We're gonna try and do about 70 in the first minute, 15 seconds rest, another 15, 15 seconds rest, the last 15. Don't know if I'm quite good enough at push-ups to get this done. Let's do it. Okay, so quick discussion on the form to get that out of the way. Again, it's one of those things where it's so easy to lose form a little when the goal is a certain number in a certain time. It's as if mentally you have to focus on form instead of focusing on the numbers. It does, it does feel at the time that they are full press-ups. But uh, I, do, I do think though that the fact that I have quite a wide stance here changes things in that I think it's a little easier with a wide stance. But it does target the chest more, which is why it's easier, I guess, because the chest muscles are bigger and stronger than the triceps. Also, I noticed that the wider part of the pecs seem to be targeted. And for me, I think I prefer that look. I think there are lots of other exercises I can do to hit the triceps, but these hit that wider part of the chest a bit better. So I quite like them. I saw a few challenges for uh, 100 push-ups in three minutes, which not that long ago I couldn't do actually. I, I did do push-ups, maybe 100 to 150, but in a 25 minute session with a variety of other exercises. So not in any huge quantities. But then saw this challenge where a guy did 102 minutes in sets of 10, with about six seconds rest between each set. Uh, I haven't actually tried that, but it, it makes sense as the lactic won't build up quite as quickly as it does doing 70 in a row. Interesting here though that uh, the range of movement of mine here gets better the more I fatigue. But the, these intense blasts though are very good to do once in a while and if you do burpees with multiple push-ups a lot it does help your push-ups power even though the quantity may not be as high it builds up a higher lactate tolerance. I think in any exercise going close to failure or to failure really builds that extra resilience. It is possible to do hundreds of push-ups during the course of a longer session, but never actually get to the point of failure. So a session where you do get to failure is always good to sneak in there somewhere in your workout schedule. Anyway, I think I did this in just under two minutes, one second. So it was two minutes just. point something. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna claim that. My, uh, my analog watch second hand hadn't moved to the next second. So it was about there. Next video is about training every day, pros and cons. So might see you then.